Hey YouTubers and welcome to another one of my vlogs. Recently I've gotten a chance to check out the trailer for the upcoming Marvel movie, Morbius. And I think it's great. I'm looking forward to seeing it next year. Or who, who knows. My, my schedule may be floppy on that. But uh, the thing I want to talk about right now from Morbius is uh, what I re what I remember Mor Morbius as a character, as uh, with my that is my personal history with him. As far as far to my knowledge, I only remember him from appearing in the Spider-Man animated series, where instead of blood, he sucked out plasma. Which is uh, kind of odd, considering he's again a vampire. So, uh, so really, the subject here I'm talking about would be, is a uh, the amount of times cartoons would would do odd things to uh, censor, uh, do some censoring, or r remove any uh, uh, some of the odd thing. Let, let let me explain. In the 90s animated Spider-Man series, Spider-Man himself had, had a secret rule to follow. And that was, he wasn't allowed to ball up his fist and punch any of his villains. I mean, think about that. <laughs> I mean, I get that, that uh, parents like to teach kids not to be violent, but uh, when you're going up against uh, guys in rhino costumes or doctors with tentacle, tentacles and uh, and people who dress up like goblins or <laughs> or most especially a a man covered in black alien goo you might want to do more than just web them up or kick them you can uh, coming across them you could use your fists it's a uh, it's not not it shouldn't be that big of a deal but to the 90s animated Spider-Man series it is. And it's odd, odd too that uh, they would remove that the uh, guns that were used in the show fired laser shots instead of r regular bullets. <laughs> I mean even 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 cops and street thugs would use the would use laser guns <laughs> which is kind of silly. Which uh, I could imagine laser guns being more expensive than regular ha hand guns that we have now. And of course, uh, not, let's not discount the villains themselves too. Like, most famously, Carnage. Like, Carnage is like, like if you took Venom symbiote and put him on the Joker rather than just angry photojournalist Eddie Brock you would get as much of mean lean mean killing machine as you can imagine but uh, but <laughs> you don't you pretty much wouldn't get that from watching the 90s animated series because he he didn't really uh, kill kill anybody on screen As uh, as much as he did in the comic book series, uh, Maximum Car Maximum Carnage, and it's a, kind of an odd thing to include Carnage in that show, considering uh, there's a reason why Carnage is red and not black. See, <laughs> Carnage is symbiote. He. Uh, uh, it, it, it's it's connected to directly into his bloodstream. So really, what you're seeing out uh, seeing of Carnage is uh, is is that of the the host body's blood. So yeah.
Now, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Such as different 90s cartoons. Um, Spider-Man wasn't the only one to get this treatment. Uh, the real Ghostbusters had, had, it, had it bad, too. Like, like, of course, in the first season, they, they did all right. But... At, but... After its first season, they uh, invited this uh, division called Q5, who decided that there were things wrong with the show, and they decided to fix it. Like, for example, the character of the uh, of Janine was changed very significantly from uh, from this sharp, sharp-witted Brooklyn brooklyn flavored uh, uh person you know the kind the kind who would take no nonsense from from any any of the uh main ghostbusters they decided to turn janine in, into a uh like a blander mo motherly type character to, to the ghostbusters they even went so far to, to change her glasses which are were originally pointed originally and the reasoning was, and the reason for changing those glasses were apparently, children are afraid of pointy objects, rather than, you know, the ghosts in Ghostbusters, which wouldn't be had that hard to do because another role that Q5 decided to implement was, uh, <clears throat> was that the ghosts could, were toned down into cartoon cartoon levels of silliness <laughs> I mean one of the episodes ha had Egon transforming into a chicken for crying out loud which was all sorts of all sorts of dumb and another thing they ha had to implement was uh, was the ghosts they, they <laughs> They shouldn't. They were adamant that they shouldn't mention that the ghosts were originally people who died. I mean, I'm not sure, but it, if uh, if a kid can't handle what a ghost is, then maybe they shouldn't watch Ghostbusters in the first place. But. I'm sure tons of kid and kids were already aware of what ghosts are and are perfectly fine with watching Ghostbusters. So, it should. That shouldn't have been the case. <clears throat> and, and to make the, the show even more cartoonish, they, they decided to make Slimer, the little snot ball Slimer, into the, more of the star of the show. Instead of the Ghostbusters themselves. <laughs> I mean, Slimer is fine in, in small doses, but when you make him in, at the center stage it, on pretty much the the whole show, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt your show. Now, of course the. There were sh other shows that they had no re no businesses in uh, meddling with, considering their, that they already fit the border borderline of outside of of children's programming territory, since it's already it's clearly made for teens. the The show, I'm, the show, I'm, of course, I'm referring to is Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Man, oh man, that show has gotten a lot of uh, out of uh, dumb things to be censored. Like, for example, uh, there was a there was a moment in the show where buildings were blown up, and the follow-up one-liner was, "Too bad it's Sunday. Those buildings would have been filled up tomorrow." <laughs> like, there's a 
like that was that coincidental chance that uh, that the buildings that they blew up were completely empty when they destroyed it, which is very unlikely. And even when a character did die on screen in Dragon Ball, they they were they were said to have gone to a different dimension. And that and that kind of really stuck in the Dragon Ball Z lore for a long time. Going, uh, he's clearly dead. No, he's gone to a different dimension. That's it. I mean, <laughs> uh, he. I mean, this is this is a show made for teens. Uh, the it's not not what I would say. Uh, of completely children's programming. There was another another one where they uh, where a character goes to hell and they call it HFIL, the Home for Infinite Losers. <laughs> and oh yeah, and oh yeah, the obvious digital paint on beer to make it look like foamy water. I I can understand covering up beer, I guess, but couldn't they have altered it to make it more like cola or or something, or root beer, something like that. No, they went with water instead. <laughs> and any appearance of blood was covered up by di digital artists as well, because apparently no child in the entire earth has ever been cut or uh, had suffered any cuts or, or or gashes when they do rough plays. Back in the nineties, <sighs> maybe some people are squeamish of blood, but you know, blood is uh, just one of those things that comes out uh, comes out regularly. It's not. <laughs> Anyways. And oh yes, the scene where there's uh, where it was uh, a cargo robot being blown up. They can <laughs> another line was thrown in saying, "Look, I can see their parachutes. They're okay, despite the fact there were no par parachutes on screen. Didn't have to be the case." And if that wasn't bad enough, they had to. Uh, they also went to went ahead to uh, ruin the character's lore too. Like for example, uh, the character Goku, his father was a warrior, but instead they cha change it to make him a an average fighter, but a brilliant scientist. <laughs> yeah, uh, that it's uh, that's all sorts of dumb. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And X Men wasn't uh, spared of the of the dumb censorships too. Like, if anyone has, uh, if anyone remembers the Dark Phoenix saga. There, there, there were times where the Dark Phoenix would destroy solar systems, entire solar systems. That's how powerful the Dark Phoenix is. But after the fact, they pretty much made it clear that those solar systems were completely devoid of life forms. <laughs> yeah, in uh, yeah, this is the Marvel Universe we're talking about here. The Marvel Universe where there are. They're pretty much air, everyday aliens, and they're saying that those solar systems were completely devoid of life forms. Right. I I I can, I can believe that. Uh, except I can't because it's uh, it's too dumb to think about. <clears throat> now, uh, and some of these censorships censorships were. Uh, we're just uh, straight up silly because in the show Pokemon, uh, 
the character Brock was uh, was eating some uh, some rice balls, and they decided to call them jelly donuts, <laughs> which became so popular in meme culture that they that their actual recipes to make jelly donuts to look like rice balls. Now, now the now the sensors were not ex were not always perfect. For in like in Animaniacs, there were a lot of risque jokes that slipped through them. Like at one point where Brain was interviewing Dolly Parton, who who she said said, "I'm your biggest fan. What do you say to that?" And Brain responds, "I'd say puberty was inordinately kind to you." <laughs> uh, Somehow and somehow that didn't that didn't ca catch their attention. And another famous joke from Animaniacs was uh, where the teacher was asking Yako to conjugate with him. And, and he says, "Who me? I never even kissed a girl." No, no, no. I let me conjugate with you. And that everybody. <laughs> yeah. And and of course the most famous one being, "I found prints." No, no, no. Fingerprints. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> there there was just some things that were. No, yeah, but of course, uh, all this about me uh, crying about the censorships of certain cartoons doesn't—it doesn't mean that the that it's completely useless. Now, I know there's an internet, com there's a community out there who would uh, uh, despise me for saying so, but uh, Sailor Moon kind of got 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 the right idea because. Because in the original Sailor Moon, sailors Neptune and Uranus had a, a relationship going on with each other, as in pushing the uh, in the uh, LGBTQ agenda there. And when they got imported into the West, they were changed into cousins and remo remo remove any of uh, the uh, scenes that made made them even r seem like a couple. And I personally think that was a right call because, let's face it, guys, and let's face it, guys, who are probably going to troll me in the comments section. The the uh, the LGBTQ agenda. It's a it's a political movement. All right, guys. I mean, I was I was worried when they were raising the give Elsa a girlfriend movement before Frozen 2 came around and thank goodness that didn't happen because if if that happened it would it would be clearly put there for political reasons and not and not because it was meant not because Elsa was meant to be lesbian in, in the first place okay guys it, it it's that's just me Maybe maybe that's just me, but I'm sure there's a lot of others who will agree as well. And of course, uh, there were R-rated movies that got got cartoon series in the '90s as well, which uh, which is which is all sorts of silly too. But at, at the very least, they got the idea to tone down the violence in, from those movies as well, like RoboCop or Conan the Barbarian or Highlander. Which was a movie series that that involves cutting people's heads off, which, which from, I never seen those shows, but from what I understand, and they didn't have any people's he heads getting cut off in 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 the shows. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I got to say, except for, I mean. I mean, censorship has its place, but it doesn't mean I always agree that it's, that it's doing their job correctly. 
But of course, there's. But of course, uh, we shouldn't forget why censorship was there from, in the first place. I mean, after all, I'm I'm a Bible, I'm a Christian man. All right, all right. And as the Christian, I can stand by when the Bible says that it's better to have a millstone around someone's neck and cast in the sea, than to hurt a child. And that's essentially what's the uh, what the censorship is is uh, trying to accomplish. They're trying to make it make things less harmful for children. But then, of course, you got Steven Universe and Legend of Korra coming around, and uh, well. We're we are we've become l less careful nowadays. I mean, <clears throat> I mean if I mean all in all, I think kids should just be kids, and anyone who uh, thinks that they should grow up fat or faster needs to. It needs to take a hike, in my opinion, because because they might as well just completely erase 9/11 and World War II from from the history books if they're gonna gonna go that far. The the world shouldn't be shielded like that from from kids and. Uh, I, it, I mean, we, I mean, we want to keep them, keep them feel safe, but at the same time, we shouldn't l lie to them. So uh, that's uh, pretty much uh, what I got for today. Uh, if you agree or disagree, leave it in the comments below. But if there are any trolls, I'll I will kick you out. And that's all for today. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.